Ahsoka, and I see it right there. Part six. The search for Grand Admiral Thrawn reaches beyond the gal the limits of the galaxy. All right, let's do this. So, Ahsoka, episode six, live reaction. Three, two, one, let's get it. Intergalactic travel within a star whale. Now I really have done it all. Yeah, no I kidding. Them. There's something I didn't tell her about Sabine. Uh-oh. Which is? She went with the enemy willingly. Impossible. She could have ended this. No Thrawn, no war. And no Ezra. Of course she was going to choose Ezra. Durr. On second thought, tell me one of those stories. A long time ago. Oh. In a galaxy far, far away. Oh, that's cool. All right. I like that. We had a deal. You promised me I would see Ezra again. Hey. Hey. We had a deal. I think you will live up to the deal. Because Balin seems like an honorable guy. Oh, here we go, folks. We're about to see this new galaxy. I mean, so far it looks like the old galaxy. I mean, duh, obviously. There's only so much you can do in space when it comes to diversifying the look. The Night Sisters are from another galaxy. So they did not originate from Dathomir. That is a huge piece of new lore. There's life on the planet. Night Sisters? More witches? Welcome, child of Dathomir. Your visions guided me across the stars. Thrawn is in league with the Night Sisters. Holy crap! Jedi. Hey, we had a deal. Where is Ezra? Where is he? Stories of this galaxy are considered folk tales. Sometimes stories are just stories. And some Balin backstory. I watched everything. I knew Burn. The Jedi Temple? I couldn't make sense of it at the time. Look at history. You realize it's all inevitable. It repeats again and again. And the Jedi lost their way. And isn't it our turn now? That sort of power is fleeting. He wants to break the cycle. That's what Balin wants to do, I can what tell. I think it's the beginning. He's such a fascinating character. Because this is something fans have pointed out that, you know, you have the dark side rising, the light side rising, uh, Sith rising, Jedi rising, and it's a cycle. He wants to break what the cycle. That That is fascinating. I like that. Fans have pointed this out, and he's like expressing that opinion from the fans that it's just one big cycle. When are we gonna break the cycle? That's this is good stuff. This is good stuff. Balin's a good villain. Night troopers. Enoch. What? There he is. There he is. And oh my goodness. What was first just a dream has become a frightening reality for those who may oppose us. Soon we shall all escape this exile thanks to the efforts of Morgan and Elspeth. I am ever your servant, Grand Admiral. Then you must be General Balan Skull. Of the Jedi Order. Talking about Vader. The prisoner is Sabine Wren. Now there's a familiar name. Dude, he is excellent! Strong. I understand it is you I have to thank for my escape from exile. Where's Ezra? Ah, yes. I'm aware of your agreement with Balin Skull, and I intend to honor it. You helped my cause. Now I shall help yours. Know, though, that once my starship departs, you'll be stranded here forever. Look at the way he's manipulating her. See, he's manipulating her. He's He is using Sabine to find Don't Ezra. I bet he doesn't even know where Ezra is. He may have some idea, but he is going to use Sabine to find Ezra somehow. That's how Thrawn works, all right? He will use you and manipulate you like a piece on the chessboard. That's how calculating this guy is. People wonder, why do we hype up Thrawn so much? Because he is one of the most manipulative villains in the entire Star Wars franchise. This guy is a tactical genius. He is using Sabine, Sabine somehow. He is on a fool's errand. Indeed. You may follow her at your own pace. Yes, Grand Admiral. Sabine Wren will have the opportunity of finding Ezra Bridger. Just as promised. And if she does, you and your master will destroy them both. See, this is what I'm talking about. He's a manipulative bastard. What the hell is that? <laughs> a 
primary objective is to escape this galaxy. It matters not whether Wren and Bridge are killed or stranded here. The same can be said for your two mercenaries. Cold calculating son of a bitch. You! You abandoned me! I'll give you another chance, but you better not bail on me this time. Got it? Not gonna lie, this thing's kinda cute. Hey! What is that? Oh no, it's licking its lips. No, come on, don't eat it. Just relax over there. Whoa! I bet it knows where Ezra is. It recognizes that symbol. Ezra, Ezra. Do, you, do you know Ezra? Oh, snap. We might actually find Ezra in this episode. Bridget? No. He's too young. Comes from a breed of Balkan Jedi trained in the wild after the temple fell. Like me? No. He was trained as a Jedi. You, I trained to be something more. Do you miss it? The Order? I miss the idea of it. But not the truth, the weakness. There was no future there. You clearly see one here? I see what once was the great witch kingdom of the Dathmiri. They seem eager to leave this place. Maybe we should too. Perhaps they flee a power greater than their own. Someone calls to me. Can't you hear it? Is it the Yuzon Vaughn? Are they fleeing the Yuzon Vaughn? I knew I could count on you. Oh my god. Oh my god. My boy. Sure took you long enough. Well, you didn't exactly tell any of us where you were going. That's because I didn't know where I was going. Oh. Oh my. He's back. Ezra's back. Bean. Hey. Hmm? I just want to be happy that I found you. Thanks for coming. I can't wait to go home. Yeah, that's going to be a bit awkward. <laughs> that's going to be real awkward. Another comes. A Jedi. Well, that is unwelcome news. Could it be the recently deceased Sokotana? I want to know her background, history, home world, her master, everything. Yes, Grant Admiral. If a star whale approaches Peridium, that's how he did it in Rebels. He understands his opponents inside and out and uses that to manipulate them. Great Tactical Marcus, genius. I shall once again require the aid of your dark magic. 